Today, around US $10 trillion of sovereign bonds in the major bond markets are suffering from negative yields. Because of this, the search for yield and income will continue to be a key investment theme for 2016 and beyond. In Asia, you can still find relatively attractive yields. For example, Asian US dollar bonds have yields averaging around 4 to 4.5 percent and even higher for high yield bonds. In the Asian local currency bond space, the yields are a lot more varied, ranging from very low in countries such as Thailand and Taiwan to over 7% for countries such as India and Indonesia. Asian economies have been on a weakening trend over the past few years. This is driven by slower external demand in some of the developed markets, a slowing China, as well as quite significant reforms in three of Asia's major economies, being China, Indonesia and India. But despite this, Asian economies still have relatively stronger growth compared to their emerging market peers and also relatively stronger fundamentals. Because of this, what we see is that Asian economies have mainly investment grade ratings. The 10 major Asian economies have sovereign ratings of investment grade by at least two of the three major credit rating agencies. So from a fundamental perspective, Asian economies stack up quite well compared to their emerging market peers. For the asset class, it's important to remember that bonds can still perform well in a slowing growth environment. An environment of slower growth and low inflation means that central banks are able to keep monetary policy accommodative or even cut policy rates. Now we've seen this already play out last year with China, India, Taiwan, Korea, all cutting interest rates. This year in the first quarter, we've already seen Indonesia cut interest rates three times already, which resulted in a very strong rally of the bond market. For corporate bonds, an environment of low interest rates and ample liquidity does mean that corporates will still have access to funding. And this means that uh, this will help to mitigate the risk of sharply rise higher default rates. There are three key reasons why I believe investors should increase exposure to Asian bonds within an overall global bond portfolio. The first reason is that it's easy to assume that a global bond portfolio will give you diversified access to bonds across all regions around the world. But in reality, many global bond funds have very little exposure to Asia. This is because the typical global bond benchmarks have very little exposure to Asia x Japan, and typically this is less than 5%. Now the second reason is related to the first reason, and that is global bond benchmarks are typically focused on the developed markets. And we know that many of the developed market government bonds are now offering very low or even negative yields. So by increasing exposure to Asian bonds, what you can get is an enhancement in the yield of your overall bond portfolio. The third reason is that Asian bonds still have relatively low correlation to bonds of developed markets. This means that if you add Asian bonds to an overall global bond portfolio, you benefit from diversification as well as you can improve the risk return profile of your overall bond port portfolio. 安聯投資實見實現。